A lot of people are for lockdown, but for me, I was only busy developing this place. As the country struggles with the second wave of COVID-19, farming remains one of the sectors whose activities were not tampered with. This has seen some farmers continuing to earn a living throughout the pandemic, while others are struggling to be included among the vulnerable groups. I produce honey, I process honey, I, I make a lot of products from honey, I make honey wine, I make shoe polish. I also go as far as making medicines. Although other people will say that I'm not, I'm, I'm not recommended to do that, but I have helped people here with propolis. In 2017, Tom Manyiwu was working as the sub-county chief, abandoned his civil service job to establish his own enterprise after touring farms in Masaka and Mitiana under the leadership of President Museveni. He was challenged to establish staff mix farm with a six chicken from which he now hands millions of shillings from the different enterprises including apiary, aquaculture among others. By doing that, in 2017, I was the third best farmer in the whole country. I was took, taken to Netherlands in 2018. Changkwanzi made me start tough farm. Going to Netherlands made me start tough agritourism. Anyi said the first lockdown gave him a lot of time to establish an agritourism center in his two acre farm, hiring 200 million per year. <laughs> He challenged those languishing in cities to return home and start with the two hens and a cock and in a year they shall have 400 birds. Let me tell you that most of the people who stay in town are people who have a lot of land in their villages. That is, a, that is the research I've done. And most of those businessmen, you see them in town, they are uneducated people. The educated ones are still looking for, put, uh, looking for ties and, and suits. We cannot conclude that they are lazy people but there are other memories at home that they don't want to go back and face. And this is a study that we have to make before concluding. And this is where leaders have to come. But I think the best way would be now increasing is giving farmers improved seed, quality seed, maybe supporting quite in terms of tractors to, to, to increase um, uh, production. And when you increase production, I'm telling you that the prices of the food will be low and people who are calling the vulnerable will also be able to afford the food. However, Agnes Linda Wuma, the woman MP for Lira District, said 99% of our voters are farmers who cannot subdue poverty because of middlemen. Now, to avoid the exploitation, I am sourcing for people or companies that can have a contract with my farmers at a specified amount to avoid them from these middlemen. My dream is to ensure that we start realizing a number of graduates in my district by empowering my people who, who are farmers to realize enough income that will enable them to educate their children. Although agriculture is employing 70% of the country's adult population, government is urged to provide a productive and climate-smart agriculture-enabling environment. Edulwa, UBC News.